What's going on guys? Let's make a 450 video. This is a really, really interesting topic. Uh, I definitely think those of you who look at the F450 and only see the most amazing truck out there are gonna like to watch this video, I think. I think. Anyways, we're gonna talk about it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so I finished up watching a really cool video uh, that the YouTube channel Paving New Paths put out entitled, Don't Waste Money on an F450. And, you know, it was a really, really information-packed video. It had more granular details in terms of the comparison between an F450 and an F350 than I think anybody else has ever produced, including myself. Uh, they loaded an RV on the back, they put it on cat scales, they were able to show you the, the intricate differences between the two. I mean, I've done similar videos in terms of putting an F450 next to an F350 and doing kind of a side-by-side -side comparison, showing you the leaf pack, showing you the difference between the front frame section, the wheels, tires, brakes, stuff like that. But boy, did, uh, did those guys do a phenomenal job putting together a video that goes over so much more beyond the content that I put out on an F450. And I think it definitely begged to follow up on my part, but I um, definitely want you to take a moment and subscribe to that YouTube channel when you're done watching this because, again, he, he put so much time and effort into that video, he should absolutely be rewarded with it with some new folks jumping over and just seeing the type of work he put into that video. Um, all that said, one of the things that I think there's a misconception about and if you're an F450 owner, you probably had a misconception before you bought your truck and you probably helped deliver that misconception now that you have an F450. Uh, a lot of times people believe that if you own an F450 or even an F350 dually or even a dually from any of the manufacturers, that there's this, uh, there's this need for that truck to tow anything. And what I mean by that is, oftentimes in my videos, I'll post a, uh, a review of a small travel trailer. It might only weigh like three or 4,000 pounds. But then people in the comment section will be like, oh, you must need an F450 to tow that or an F350. And I know they're just being facetious. I just know they're being, you know, funny and sarcastic about it. But the reality is, is there's this perception that when you have a truck like this and you make content about it, even though at no point have I ever claimed the F450 is the biggest, baddest truck out there. I've never said it in a video. You will not find one video where I claim that my truck is better than any other truck. Now, it may have some better characteristics for doing certain things, but what you probably would find out very quickly is that whenever I'm doing a head-to-head -head comparison against really any other truck, whether it's a half-ton truck, whether it's a three-quarter ton or one-ton single or dually truck, I will absolutely point out what I think those trucks may do better. Um, in many ways, you have you know features on those trucks that are better than this because of what those trucks are designed to do as well. There are a few advantages to the F450 in terms of maneuverability versus say an F350, but there aren't a ton of them. So you know when I talk about an F450 and I say how much I love the truck, I generally always point to the wide track front axle and the steering. That's it, the, the radius. If I had the option to get an F350 with the same steering capability as an F450, then I honestly would believe the F350 would be the better truck. Only because you would gain payload capacity back. Sure, the F450 has a heavier duty front frame section. It has larger brakes, both on the front and the rear. It has heavier half shafts in the axle. It has more robust tires and wheels because they're commercial grade. And when you combine those things together along with the 430 uh, rear end on this thing, you do have a truck that technically is capable from a mechanical and an engineering standpoint of handling more weight. The rear leaf springs are virtually identical. The bottom leaf has a slightly higher rate to it, but the ride of this truck is horrible compared to an F350 dually. The tracking, the ability for you to stay in your lane and not swerve with every imperfection in the road is horrible on this truck compared to any other dually truck on the market or any other single rear wheel truck on the market. This truck has the key distinct advantage in the full-size truck realm of having that wide track front axle, which equates to that better turning angle, as well as coupling it with 
a payload capacity that's great for towing RVs. That's really it. Uh, three quarter tons and one tons not only have their place, but I would venture to say that their place is more universal in terms of everyday ownability versus something like this. And I would even amplify that when talking about half ton trucks. I would honestly tell you and honestly believe that a half ton truck is a more practical truck for everyday ownership and even light towing versus an F450. So the reason I'm making this video is because there are key distinct advantages when towing with an F450, say versus an F350 or versus a 250 or versus a half ton. But those advantages aren't all the time. And they really only relate to the ability for you to maneuver a trailer or maneuver the truck, given the overall size of the truck and the type of trailer that you might need this truck to haul, whether it's a fifth wheel or a conventional towing trailer. So one thing I really liked about the video that they put out was he spoke to the fact that an F450 isn't needed for most applications. And not only is it not needed, it really isn't a good truck to have for a lot of towing applications or a lot of daily applications because of its overall size. Now, this truck for me is, is it's the best truck I've ever owned. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not gonna say it's better than another truck for whatever purpose you may use that truck for, but I'm certainly gonna tell you that I think that this truck for my applications is amazing. I love it, I do. Um, but that's just me taking pride in the vehicle that I own and some of the characteristics that I've learned to like about it. Do I love the ride characteristics? No. Do I love the fuel economy? Heck no. Do I love the way it stays stable going down there? No, I don't. You know, these are all things I don't care for. Do I love the look of the truck? I do. Do I love the, the wheels and tires and the whole aggressive setup and that wider, beefier front end to it? I do. But if you watch the video collaboration I did with uh, Mark over at Keep Your Daydream and the interview I did with Mark and Trish, you'll clearly see that there may be an area that an F450 will benefit you, but in many ways it might not. It may not be the best truck for you. If you are primarily driving it around in this configuration with no trailer, it's going to be a pretty jarring ride and it's not going to be fun. It's significantly rougher because of those tires, because of, well, I'm not going to really say the suspension, but mainly because of the stiffer sidewall on the tire. It's like the equivalent of having concrete tires versus rubber tires. This thing just really, really will bang you around. It's hard to balance. It's hard to find replacement wheels and tires for. They're very expensive. It gets poor fuel economy. There are reasons why an F450 might not be the best truck for you. So if you're looking for justification on whether or not an F450 is gonna be the ideal vehicle for you, um, you know, don't go in the comment section of videos just because I have an F450 and people wanna, you know, they wanna give me grief because I have this truck and I talk about towing numbers and I talk about what trucks I recommend for certain types of towing applications and people for some reason feel that because I have this truck and I say certain things about this truck in terms of why the F450 exists and some of the differences, some people will feel that I only think this is the truck you need to tow anything, whether it's a tiny utility trailer, a small cargo trailer, uh, you know, a, a travel trailer, all the way up to a fifth wheel, but that's not the case. I always want people to be, I always want people to be aware that there are certain vehicles that are better suited for towing certain types of trailers than others. And that's the purpose of my channel in many ways. It's not only to do an RV review, but it's to give you my perception on what I believe a certain RV and a certain truck pairing combination should be primarily for people who may have never towed a trailer before or people who just simply want to get that perspective. There's so many folks who will review trailers and RVs and things like that. The perspective that they may not give you though is towing suitability. What is the best truck in their opinion that you would use to tow that trailer? I don't think you will, uh, actually I know, you can't go back and find any video I've ever made where I specifically say the F450 truck, this configuration of truck is the perfect truck for towing that type of trailer for everybody. I do talk a lot about dualies. I do talk about uh, one ton single rear wheel trucks and three quarter tons and half tons. But I would venture to say that a three quarter ton or a one ton single rear wheel truck would be the two trucks that I call out the most in terms of most capable universal towing applications for most of your mid to large 
towing needs. When you get into extremely heavy RVs, then I talk a lot about stability and redundancy of having two extra tires in the back and having additional payload capacity that you might get with a dually. When I talk about really light RVs, I talk a lot about half tons and mid-size and full-size SUVs as possibly the best towing solution for those. Shoot, even when I talk about teardrop and even smaller, really compact trailers, I talk a lot about mid-size trucks. But I don't really feel, and it may have happened once or twice at some point where I've said, you know what, this is really the best truck for, for this specific trailer and reference specifically an F450. So even though people see big truck, big RV, and I think that there's a perception out there that I have some super bias against every other truck out there, if you actually pay attention, most of my content is right sizing your payload and your towing numbers together with the type of trailer that you plan on towing and basing it on the length, the height, the width, and the weight of the trailer. I don't just look at one. I don't just say, hey, that's a 20 foot long trailer, so you can easily tow it with anything out there. I look at the width, I look at the weight, I look at the length, I look at the profile, I look at oftentimes where things may be loaded up, if there's propane, if there's batteries, all that stuff. And that's what I use to factor in my towing recommendation. It may not be what everyone agrees with. Oftentimes it's not, but it's my recommendation based off of the data that's in front of me, the information I'm looking at, and the fact that I do not know everybody's towing experience, how comfortable they are, if they've ever set up a weight distribution hitch, if they tow in areas that are super windy, if they tow uphills, downhills, up mountain passes, down mountain passes, I just don't know. So I give you my best recommendation based off of universal scenarios, universal numbers that I think might work best for your specific needs based on the fact that I don't know your specific needs. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about the differences between an F450 and an F350, and really if that might be the truck for you, definitely check out the YouTube channel, uh, Paving New Paths. They did a phenomenal video. Um, huge thumbs up from me. And uh, I definitely like the effort and time that they put into it because it was a lot of effort and time. It's not easy moving around, hitching up to trailers, moving them to cat scales, doing all the things that they did to make that video very concise and informative. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, ask questions, leave comments below. I would love to know what your thoughts are, and I will talk to you again very soon.